What's Gucci? What's Gucci? What's Gucci? I bought a bunch of other, a bunch of little things. I just want to introduce you guys to my dog. Her name is Chiquita slash Gorda. She's the Surpadora. All right. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the stuff I bought because I was actually really excited. I went to Macy's and uh, they had this huge deal happening. And I bought some stuff at Forever 21 and I got some shorts from Amazon. And some makeup. We start with makeup because I'm actually really excited to figure this out, like what it is exactly. Well, I know what it is, but how it looks. You know when something like you see online and it looks like some... Like it looks so nice and perfect, but then when you buy it, it's like not even the same size that you thought it was going to be. So that's where I'm at right now. So I bought this from MAC and it's a... Let me see what it's called. Okay, so I bought this full coverage foundation and it's... Um, it kind of comes in like... It looks like a concealer thing. Or I think it does. This is my first time opening it, so I don't know how it looks. Let me put it back. And so yeah, it's a full coverage foundation and and I got it in color NC30. So let's see how this looks. Ooh, so I actually don't know if this is my color or not, but but yeah, this is what I got. This is how it looks like. This one. There it is. Yeah, so this is the this is the full coverage foundation, and I actually don't know if it is actually full coverage but it looks like a you know like the small little concealer like tubes that they have at um, mac it kind of looks like that but in foundation form so i've actually been wanting to buy it for quite some time but it's kind of pricey it's let's see how much it is yeah it's like 36 bucks for this and it comes with how many ounces 28 grams it comes with 28 grams, so it doesn't seem that bad. But for my cheap ass, everything's expensive. Ooh, but it's very creamy. I'm actually really scared. I hope it really is my color because I was like, nah, blah, blah. and then I went to Amazon and I bought some shorts that would match my sports bra I have on right now. So let's see if it actually does match. And there are some high waisted workout shorts, and I'll link. Everything I bought, um, except for the shoes, because I think they were, um, I think they were final sale. But I can try looking for them on the Macy's web website. Maybe you guys can find it. But yeah, these are the shorts. Let me show you guys the packaging. I'll link it down below, and I'll tell you guys the prices of it. So it's not necessarily the same color. Meh. I thought it would be. But they're high-waisted workout shorts. And, um... You know me, I love me some good high-waisted. The material is actually kind of like the soft material that my sports bra has, um, which isn't bad, but if you're one that sweats a lot, you'll probably uh, sweat a little bit more. But it looks like it's very absorbable, and it feels like it's very absorbable. And the actual, like, the waist, like the band, it's actually pretty sturdy too. So we'll see. So I actually shop at Am on Amazon so much. So if you guys ever want to know, like, what I actually have, like all my things that I have from Amazon, I will definitely show you guys. Some things are really, really helpful. Okay, so they're they're yoga biker shorts, but they're shorter than biker shorts. At least they look like they're shorter biker shorts. And I got these for $15.99, but plus tax and everything, it was probably $17. So not too bad. And I got these in a size medium because last time I got a, a large and they were too big. So, but yeah, these are cute. They're not, um, I don't think they're biker shorts. I think they're just like Spanx, like the regular short ones. So I'm excited. Oh, and it comes with, um, pockets. So that's pretty cool that it comes with pockets. I love me some good pockets. So after that, I did end up going to uh, online and buying some Forever 21 stuff because they had a sale. Like everything that was marked down was already um, gonna be 50% off. So I ended up buying some stuff for work and just some other stuff. This cute sports bra and it's actually pretty sturdy and I got it in a size medium and it was $12.99. But the only thing I don't like about these sports bras is that there's no padding. 
That's the only thing I don't like about them. Got like full coverage all around. So that's the only reason why I don't, it's not my favorite, but I bought it anyways, cause I like, I like these kind of tops. Like they're like triangled, I don't know. But yeah, it's really cute and it's pretty sturdy. Um, and it's not see-through whatsoever, like at all. And this one's like hot pink. And this one's so cute because look, it's kind of like ruffled in the front. Yeah, I'm just really excited. And there's padding, which it's like the removable padding, but that's okay. Those never bothered me. But the crossing in the back is really cute also. Like, look at that. Yes. This sports bra is actually $11.69 and I ended up getting it for $12. So that's not bad. And it's really cute and I like the bottom it's very very sturdy so it would hold up nicely but I really like the color like the color is like my favorite because I'm always in black so I ended up buying these work shirts because all I wear is t-shirts to work and I don't think it's professional I think it, I should step up a little bit and start dressing at least a little bit cuter for work so this is a shirt I got and it's kind of like a, a knitted like um polo shirt and actually I don't know if the camera does it justice but like the material is really thick and nice like I really and I feel like it's gonna be like so snug to like my body that it's gonna look really really cute so I really like it and I know it's weird like not a lot of people like wearing polos but I feel like it'd look cute with my outfits see it's really really cute and I got this in a size medium and it looks like it might be cropped, but I'm gonna be wearing like high-waisted dress pants anyways So these are really cute. I did end up buying a black one also because why not? I was gonna get a blue one and a gray one too, but I wanted to see how they looked first You know, I don't want to buy a whole bunch and then like their final sale. So yeah, the materials the same. It's, it's like a thicker like knitted material, but it's really really stretchy so it won't be like tight on my body and it won't make me feel uncomfortable and the price for these were ten dollars so i got them for ten dollars each so it's not bad so really really cute and it comes with like three buttons right here and um the co the collar part it's not like so short where it looks weird like it's actually a little bit long and i really like that i ended up buying some shoes at macy's and they were having like this huge sale and um they said like the rack was like final sale and um, all the shoes that you can like choose, there was like different prices for them. But I got like two good shoes from Macy's and this is from the branch Charter Club. Um, I've never heard of it, but they had a really, really cool, cute shoe selection. But look, I just want to show you guys how cute these shoes are. Oh my gosh like what sailor moon who yes can't wait to wear these everywhere like you can wear this with a cute skirt with like a nice shirt and then like you'll look like a little preppy girl like how cute honestly i don't think that these shoes should have been ten dollars like i think that it should they should have been more expensive but it was a steal for me oh so originally the price was 69.50 so these shoes were $69.50 and I got them for $10. Literally, like plus tax and everything, they were $10, but it was 85% off discount. Like, wow. Like, that is just amazing. Like, these shoes, guys, so freaking cute. Yeah, these shoes are so cute. $10 over $69.95. Like, I think that's a steal. 85% off? What? Anyways, I might wear these to work. Who knows? But these are cute. And then I ended up buying some shoes from Madden Girl. And these are just like casual like pumps that I really, really, really like. Like, look at that. Yes, queen. Dude, like I know you guys might think that these look like old lady shoes. But once I try them on and you guys see, like, they're really, really nice. And I like how they're orange. Like, they're so bright. But then so neutral too. So yeah, and I also got these in a nine and a half because that's my shoe size. And these shoes are 
But these shoes were originally $30 and I got them for $10 also. So that's a steal. Oh, actually, the original price for these shoes were $59.99. But then they went down to $28.03 and then they went super reduced down to $9.93. So they were meant for me. They were meant for me. Anyways, and, I, and they come with these, these bright, 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 bright like shoelaces, which I really, really like. Like I just like bright things. I don't know about you guys, but I love neon. Neon is my ish. And I forgot to mention that I was on Amazon and I was lurking through some white shoes, like workout shoes, because I know the gyms are going to eventually open one day. I have faith that they're going to open one day. And um, I wanted to get some good, like, cute, like, gym shoes specifically, because I have my black Adidas that I really like, the memory foam ones. Um, if you watch my first haul, I talk about those shoes and they're super affordable and they're super comfortable. But um, I came across these other Adidas on Amazon and uh, they were so cute and they were actually like 40 bucks. So I wanted to try them out. I haven't gone, I haven't used these shoes actually at all. I'm honestly just waiting for the gym to open so these could be strictly for the gym. But that's not cute. They're like all white. All white shoes and uh, you might say I have a shoe obsession. Um, but I don't <laughs> I just like having shoes for specific things if that makes sense but um, yeah so these shoes are actually really really cute and I haven't tried them out yet so I'll let you guys know like what I feel about them but these are also memory foam um, shoes actually I got these shoes when they were on sale and I got them for like 43 75 or something and now they're actually 73 16 so that actually kind of sucks but um, I'll, still, I'll still link them down below if you guys are interested but these shoes are just they look so comfortable and honestly like they're not going to be for like uh, outside wear like uh, these are strictly going to be for inside the gym because um, I just don't want to com combine like outside dirt and, and gym dirt like you know like I just kind of want to keep it strictly for one place but yeah these shoes are so cute and um, I'll link them down below Oh my gosh, I almost dropped this on my dog. I'll link these down below and um, maybe you guys are interested on in trying these out too. And um, But I'll keep you guys updated on these shoes and my Sailor Moon shoes and my uh, Man and Girl shoes. But yeah, pretty much that's everything I bought. And I'm actually really excited for all of it. These are the shorts. And these shorts are actually not that bad. I'm just a little bummed out that they weren't the... The same color as the sports bra which is kind of a little bit of a bummer but it's not a like make or break really comfortable I like that they have pockets on the bottom so you can put your phone in okay so this is the sports bra that I got it's actually a little bit big on the sides right here but it actually feels really comfortable and like I said the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have padding in the front area but yeah this is the back and I also didn't mention that this has adjustable straps so it could be like to your comfort of how close you want it to like your neck or things like that I actually have no complaints over um, sports bras at forever 21 like that's usually where I get them um, only because everywhere else is a little bit more expensive and um, I don't know, it's just more affordable, I guess, for me. But, um. Okay, can I just, like, start off by saying that this sports bra gives me life. Like, look how cute this is. Like, I am so obsessed with this right here. And look at the back. Ooh, ooh la la. The back is so nice. The color just pops. Like, look at my skin. I look tan. Like, and I'm actually usually pasty. But... Yeah, dude, like, like, look at that. It's so comfortable. And also, like, I like that it has padding. Like, dude. Honestly, I have nothing to say about this. I have no bad thing to say about this sports bra because I like it so much. I'm going to wear it all the time. So, so cute. All right. <laughs> okay, on to the next one because I have no complaints over this one.
Okay, so this top is actually really cute. I really like it. It's actually really, really comfortable. Um, but I wish I would have gotten it in a size large only because I am going to work with this shirt. Like, nobody wants to see my belly, you know? So I am going to have to buy some, like, high-waisted, um, like, dress pants. But that's okay. I love me some good high waist everything. But look, the shirt is so cute and the color... Like, it's so flattering to, like, your figure, and I like how, like, everything fits snug, but not, like, tight and uncomfortable. Like, everything is still very stretchy, and I don't feel like I'm being, like, choked with, like, like a heavy shirt, you know? But this is this shirt is actually really, really cute. It goes with my uh, work badge and everything like that. Yeah, I think about that stuff but and also like i like that you can like still like show your necklace and even if you want to like button up your shirt it'll still look really really cute let's see yeah so that's how it looks buttoned up and it doesn't look bad um you definitely don't feel like you're choking at all like it's actually really a really really cute like um collar shirt but yeah, I actually really like this. I'm probably going to buy like two more, but in large. I like the size, but if the size was more appropriate for work, like I can't go to work with my belly showing. Like it just, it's not appropriate, you know? But yeah. Super cute. Okay, one second. Same thing for the black one. Uh, I don't know why I feel like the black one is more cropped than the actual um, white one but um it's still very comfortable and nothing to complain about um i just do wish it was a little bit bigger like lengthwise um only reason because like i said it is for work but i still like it really cute i feel like it's like more professional to wear like a collar top than to like wear a t-shirt i mean obviously right but yeah like that's how it looks on button really cute really nice really comfortable again um no complaints and for ten dollars i'm sold i am there but yeah I'm, i think i'm definitely going to be wearing this like out even like to go out and eat in somewhere like i feel like this is such a vibe like this is such a like classy clean vibe even though like you know trying that classy but it's cute and then I'll show you guys the shoes. Alright guys, so these are the shoes. Super comfortable. I actually really... I got them a little bit bigger only because I wanted like more like wiggle room for my shoes. Uh, for my clothes. Um, but they're super cute. Like they're super comfortable. Like a low ankle kind of shoe. But I don't mind it. Like, And the, the comfort of them, like the memory foam. Super, super comfy. Like, yo, can this be any more cleaner? Ew. Like, look at that. Cute. That's why I want to just use them for specifically the gym because in the gym, like, I don't feel like my shoes are going to get disgustingly dirty, if that makes any sense. But yeah, we like them. Super comfortable. All right, guys, so these are my other shoes. And actually, I really. <laughs> these shoes are so dope. Look, look at them. Sorry, my ears a little dirty, but Dude, look at that. You know what kind of shoes these remind me of? Do you guys remember those Skechers, um, like those round memory foam shoes? Help you with to enhance the bosom. Do you guys remember that? Or no? Well, I'll show you guys. But um, yeah, these shoes are actually pretty comfortable. I kind of want to go. Like, I feel like these are some Disneyland shoes. Like, you know. Like, you take these to take cute pictures and, like, cute Disneyland shoes. <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me in my own world. But, yeah, this is how the shoes look. Clean. Sleek. Super platformy. Love it. And people say, like, why do I like wearing, like, big shoes? I'm already tall already. But I'm like, I don't care. I'm embracing my height. Why not? All right, guys, so that concludes this video. Ah, uh, just kidding. No, so that was all the stuff I tried on and um, I purchased. And I really, honestly, like, I liked everything. From the, I already hung them. I'm just, like, weird like that. But um, 
from the polo shirts to the actual um, sports bras and shoes. Like I loved everything. The only thing I'm a little worried about is that foundation um, that I bought from MAC. But I feel like MAC isn't used that often by a lot of people anymore. And MAC is such a good quality brand that I don't know like why people aren't on that train anymore. Like I know there's a bunch of more amazing stuff out there too. But this is my home sweet home. Like This is the makeup I first started using. Well, actually, the first makeup I actually started using was Sephora, but this was the second one that, like, caught my eye. Like, I was like, wow, like, MAC is amazing. Appreciate it. But anyways, hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to go do some homework, so catch you guys later. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below because I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know I'm going to sound crazy, but I forgot that I had a, a mirror back there. And I swear, I thought there was somebody behind me and I kind of freaked out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Has that ever happened to you guys? Because that shit happens to me all the time. Like, I forget that I have so many mirrors in my room that I'm just kind of like... <gasps> and then I realize that it's me and then I'm just like, oh, okay, good. Whew, that would have been bad.